not for me. It took most of the next two hours to throw off the heaviness of the attack. He could have gone home, fallen into bed, and slept for ten hours. It often hit him like that, the first initial waves of warning. Hell, sometimes it hit him like that when he was working, unless he had his anchor, another psychic to keep him grounded. It flat out left him exhausted and sleep was the best thing for him. His dad would have understood, but that would have been admitting something had really happened, and Colby was damn determined to not do that. So he finished his not-so-relaxing morning at the beach and walked the mile to the store. By the time he got there, his legs felt like jelly, but that was good, very good, because it gave him something to focus on besides that sense of impending doom. He was good with having something else to focus on. Although maybe what he should have focused on was finding a way to keep his dad from really looking at him. One glance was all it took for the older man to realize there was a problem. You okay, son? Yeah. He forced himself to smile. I'm fine. He lied. His dad probably knew. But he'd fake it until he was fine. Fake it until you make it. That was the saying, right? Whatever it was, it would fade. And it would fade without him doing a damn thing. You sure you're okay? Shoving it aside, Colby looked at his father, held his gaze. Yeah, just didn't sleep very well. The look in his dad's eyes was measuring. It's starting again, isn't it? No. Colby cleared his throat and wished to hell he could have sounded more convincing. Not that it mattered. It wasn't starting again because he was done. He was done. No, it's not. 